Hi my friends and welcome or welcome back. I'm George Pierce and I want to thank you for watching. This video is about making thumbnails for YouTube and there's actually three kinds of thumbnails that you can make and I'm going to show you a fourth kind that's kind of well it's brand new. It's something that I'm it's something that I'm experimenting with so stay tuned for that. So let's get right to it. Now thumbnails are easy, they're quick, they're simple but in order to create the thumbnail we, we're going to need some kind of uh, software and there's software that we, we can use online. Most software is online and there's a, there's a, a few that we will actually download such as Printmaster which is paid software or GIMP G -I -M -P, and that's free. Well, in this video I'm going to be discussing or focusing on free software and let's begin with some of the best free software. Some, what are some of the best free thumbnail creators? As far as I know, Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com is probably the number one. It's probably the most popular. It's very user friendly, easy to use. Now similar to, to Canva is a site called Photojet and it's, that's F-O-T-O-J-E-T dot com. I love Photojet. I think you will too. Other free online software is, as I had mentioned before, GIMP. That's G-I-M-P dot com. Uh, GIMP is, uh, it's awesome. It's incredible, but it's not, in my opinion, it's not very user friendly. It takes time to kind of learn how to do it. Uh, Snappa, S-N-A-P-P-A dot com is also excellent online software but it's quite limited as far as uh, the free version. PicMonkey, also excellent, but uh, now the paid version of PicMonkey is, is really good, but the, uh, the free version is, is also limited. Uh, four others that I want to share, uh, that I, and I've used all of these, so I'm speaking from experience. Adobe Spark, I love Adobe Spark, a little bit limited, but again, very easy to use. And that is actually Spark, S P A R K dot Adobe dot com. Another site, uh, excellent site, uh, excellent for beginners, is Visme, I believe it's called, is V I S M E dot com. Pickmaker. Pickmaker is uh, one of the ones that I love. That's pick, P I C M A K E R dot com. And TubeBuddy, you'll find a link below to TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy has a thumbnail creator, a little bit limited as well. Now, I also want to mention uh, Gravit Designers. That's G R A V I T Designer. The website is designer, D E S I G N E R dot I O slash E N for English slash pricing and the reason why I'm sharing that with you is, is simply click on the free version and that will take you to the to the free version and uh, the and the reason is that the uh, the link is a mile the the actual free website it, the link is a mile long so if you'll go to the pricing page you click on free and the free version is a uh, is a full blown professional software, but but in my opinion, Gravit Designer is not very user friendly. What that simply means is it's going to take you a little bit of time to learn how to use it. But when you if you want to invest that time, you're going to have some incredible software. Now, one other thumbnail maker that I like, in fact, it's my probably my favorite, and that's Pixlr p i x l r dot com. And that will allow you to do almost anything that you want to do. But the only thing that it won't do, which most others won't do or they do poorly, is remove background. And uh, I'm going to share a site with you called remove.bg. Is in my opinion, it's the best automatic remover. Both PhotoJet and PicMaker are very, very easy to to use. Pixlr is quite easy to use but not quite as user friendly as as, as perhaps Photojet, Pixmaker, Pickmaker or, uh, or Canva for example. If you're new to thumbnails we're going to be using Photojet and Pickmaker and Pixlr. The idea being that you're going to get a feel for and a look at these particular thumbnail makers as well as how to make these three different kinds of thumbnails. I want to share with you the three different kinds of thumbnails 
that are uh, that are the most popular right now. And the, the first one is the one that we're going to start with. And technically, it's the most difficult, but it's still very very easy. So it's actually that easy that we're, I'm going to start with it. And that's simply to take one take an image of yourself, take a take a photo, and that could be from your from your video, or you can take a snapshot or, or whatever. And you'll remove the background, remove the background, change the background to a solid color or a gradient color. So you've got your image and a solid background or gradient color background behind you. And then your text, you'll place your text on that image. And that's, uh, and typically you're going to put an outline on the, around your image. And I'll show you how all that works. That is probably one of the most popular so we're going to start with that one, and we're, there, and we're going to start with PicMaker. To the best of my knowledge, that's the only free software that is going to give you the ability to actually to be able to automatically outline your image. The reason why I prefer that is when it comes to removing backgrounds and trying to do that manually. Mm, not good. I'm I'm no good at it. And the first the first kind of thumbnail we're going to do is going to look something like this and. First step we have to do is remove the background, and I, so I've taken us to a site called Remove GE, and it's, as far as I'm concerned, it is the best automatic remover, as far as a free remover, it's the best one that I can find. Well, let's click on Upload Image. You want to upload an image, and you can use any kind of photo of yourself that you want. Let's try this one. We're uploading the image. This is the original image, and of course, this is the one with the background removed, and it didn't totally remove everything, as you can see. So we need to go to Edit, click on Edit, and then click on Erase and Restore. In this case, we want to erase, so I'm going to click on Erase. And I'm simply going to go over this, and I forgot it. I do not see anything else that we need to erase, so let's download it. Click on download image, save the image. Now we want to go to PicMaker. This is PicMaker, P I C M A K E R dot com. Once you sign up and log in, this is where you want to end up, and this is your dashboard. You want to click on YouTube thumbnails, and we're going to have to enable Flash. Allow Flash. Flash is enabled. I'm going to skip the tutorial, but there is a video tutorial. I'm going to skip that. And since we have an image to upload, we're going to go to Uploads. And upload. Click on Upload, and then we'll be able to choose the image. And we'll click on Upload. We'll click on the image. Save. On the image, and that image, I can expand the image, make it bigger, move it over. Now, while I'm here, I want to click on this, and this is sticker. I want to what what they call stickerify. I think it's called stickerify. What that's simply going to do is going to put an outline around the image, and I'm going to change it to make it any color you want. I'm going to make it white. As you can see, and done. The next thing we want to do is go to uh, backgrounds, and we can put in a solid background. We can put in a gradient background. I prefer a gradient, and I like something with a little bit of color. Something that's maybe red and yellow and, and blue. And now, as you can see on that background, the, sh the outline. Sh shows up well. We've got our background. Next thing we want to do is go to text and best pets. I simply uh, change the text. I've changed this to easy steps using the best free thumbnail tools. As you can see, the image this overlaps the image. I'm simply going to 
cut this down just a little bit. Easy steps using the, the best free thumbnail tools. And this is an opportunity for you to say more about your video. And one of the things that I'm sharing with you are some of the best free thumbnail tools, which a lot of people are looking for as well. So they're looking for easy steps to create them as well as what are the best free tools. Here's, here we are. I'm okay with it just the way it's, the way it's at. So what I'm going to do is download it. I simply click download. Now the next thing we're going to do is create a, a thumbnail, only not using our own image. So if you don't want to use your own image, and this is a way you can create an outstanding thumbnail by simply clicking on pre-built. And then you can choose any one of these. Let's use this one. And we'll click on the girl. And we'll just, let's stick with a fire. The girl. And I'm changing this to grab grab my free training using the best tools. I'm happy with what I see. Click download. The next video, the next thumbnail I want to share with you, we're going to go to PhotoJet. This is PhotoJet, F-O-T-O-J-E-T dot com. And click on design or click on click on creative design. And we want to scroll down to thumbnails. YouTube thumbnail. Basic, and what we're going to do here is simply have a background, which could be a solid background or something like this, or any kind of a background that we want, and text. It's that simple. And then behind the text, usually you're going to have a solid. So we can use this all by itself. I'm going to delete that property. Delete. So we just simply go in here, change this text, easy, fast, free. We're done. Download. What I'm going to be sharing with you here is the fourth kind. We're going to be using Remove BG again. We're going to be using a uh, site called Snaps Touch, and this is a site that's going to take in a photo and create an outline. We're going to take a regular photo, it can be of yourself, and we'll create an outline. And what's nice about this is if it's different and, and unique, this is something, again, that I've been experimenting with. I've been using this particular tool mostly for uh, logos, but I'm, I've been trying it on a few thumbnails, and I, I kind of like the results I want to share with you. And the third site we're going to be using is Pixlr. And this is an example. These are two. This is an example of the end result. This is an example of, an, of the end result. Again, we're going to go to this. And we're back at Remove BG. We're going to upload an image. This is the original. This is the, the image without the background. I'm going to download the image. Going to online tool, choose file, go to downloads. I'm going to upload, and I, the settings that I usually use are 3, 30, and 10. You can play around with the settings in order to find the ones that you like the most. Let me click upload. Here's the photo. Here's the and here's my settings. Now I want to click outline. Watch what happens. That's the outline. I'm going to go ahead and download. Hit click download. Don't hit start. Hit click download. And it's downloaded. Now I'm going to go back to remove BG and I'm going to drop, drag and drop this latest image because I want to remove the background. Presently, the background is white, and I did not like the white background. So I want to remove the background so that I can make, make the background whatever color that I want. This is the original. This is the, the, the background that's removed, but I don't know if you can see it. But there are spots here it's removed a little too much, and that's almost impossible for it to know exactly where the background is. So 
So anyway, let's go to edit. Because we want to fix that, we're going to go to erase restore, click on that, click on restore. And then I just want to, wherever it looks like there's like these little blotches, or any place that looks like there might be a blotch, I want to go over it. I don't know if you can see that, but what it's doing, it's eliminating those blotches. I'm going to leave this. I'm, not, I'm going to open another window. In other words, I, I want to leave this image because if, if there's a spot that I've missed, it's going to show up. I'm going to be able to easily see it in just a moment. So I can come back here, retouch this up if I need to. And But I believe I've got it touched up enough. Just and let's download it. Download image. We're going to go to Pixlr. Pixlr X actually, which is P-I-X-L-R dot com. And I'm going to drag and drop this image. That's the image. And what I see is one little spot right here. Just go ahead and I've clicked on this for properties and I'm going to go ahead and add a background and I want to do a red background yes and this little spot right here I would like to get rid of I'm going to go back to remove and you know, a little erase Download it again. Back to Pixlr. Close this image out. I'm going to delete this image. Drag and drop. And I got pretty well got what I want. But uh, go back here. Red. Red works pretty well. Go to crop. Crop. Apply crop. And go to text. Add text. So easy, all free. I like the text a little bit uh, smaller. So easy, all free. I want to put a background. Let's change the text color to green. And let's put a background on that text. Not a background, excuse me. I don't think I want a background, but I do want to outline. And I'm going, to add, I'm going to add best free tools. Leave that in white. Make it smaller. I will add a background on that one. Change the background to green. And turn this. So easy, all free, best free tools, save, there we go. My friends, I do want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Allow me to wish you and yours to be safe and well. Allow me to wish you much success.